2023 presidency is between Atiku and Tinubu. Obi is a noisemaker. Dino Milai, again, has attacked Peter Obi. He said Atiku discovered Obi before keyboard warriors discovered him. Atiku supporters are real. According to him, they are original. You can see them and they have PVCs. We have two important people contesting this election, Atiku Abubakar and, uh, and Bola Tinubu of the APC. At 75, what is new that Atiku would be looking for after Dan to set the predestined for the upcoming generation to have life they can call their own. So this competent Nigerian that is highly mobile and administratively sagacious is coming to change the narrative. Obi is fanatics. Nigeria, but he was not known nationally until Atiku identified him. Atiku is a talent hunter. Everyone who was a, a reformer in this country between 1999 to date was a discovery of Atiku, he said. Nothing, nothing that election will not take place on social media. Dino Milai said it is going to take place at the polling unit and those that will vote are the people here. So it is now operation vote must count. Uh, uh, but that is it. Operation Vote Mars Current. The truth is that so many people will sleep and they will not wake up. You see this, their mindset will be cannot win election, will be, uh, will be supporters are only on social media. How do they know? People are on social media. If people do not come out to, you know, enlighten people about Peter will be, how will people not know about him? So that is just what is happening. If they feel that Discrediting Peter will be people, people don't have PVC and all that, and for that reason, Peter will be is not going to win the next uh, uh, presidential election and whatever. They are just deceiving themselves. They should go and check record, they should go and check how many Nigerians have obtained their uh, PVC this time around because it's, it's like they are just they don't, they don't, they don't even know what they are doing. And another thing is that if you feel that Peter Obi is not matched to, you know, your candidate, why is Peter Obi, you know, uh, has become your night's meal? I don't understand. This man have continued to talk about Peter Obi, not even only him, all of them. And they will tell us that Peter Obi is going nowhere because he's, uh, his supporters are only on social media and for that reason... Peter Obi is not going to win election, win election and all that. But they keep on talking about him. You see, I mean, there's one thing. If I feel say this thing, no, they you not know, get any facts, you know, on me. You know, they bother me. You understand? And that is how it's supposed to be. If something, eh, no get any facts on you, why they bother you? That is my even my own worry here. Yeah. If Peter Obi is a noise maker, no problem. They could not leave him. When I say not get structured, Nigerians are saying beautiful. Now that one when not get structured, now then they go. What are they even telling us? What what are they trying to tell us that PDP is going to do that they did not do? Honestly speaking, these people they should they should just give us peace. They should just give us peace. You understand? They should just APC and PDP should just give us peace. Make we just follow our hearts. They should leave this thing like this. I know that what they are planning right now is how to rig election. But the, the truth about this whole thing is that bring money, people go chop up, then go vote for their rightful, their, their, their rightful candidates. It's not going to be business as usual. What is just happening to these people is that they are afraid that they are losing it already. Peter Obi is a great threat to them. That is just it. They are afraid that they will lose this. They will lose it this time around, and that is how it's going to be. Nigerians are taking back their country. 
you understand? Enough of this. I don't know what you are going to do for us now that you had every opportunity to do and you did not do it. What do you go even make us say make we vote for you? What? So make them just leave Nigerians and let things don't flow the way it is. God has prepared what is going to happen. You understand? So whether Peter will be a noisemaker or no hala, but the truth is that Peter will be the give them night mail. That is just the truth. So I said that you people don't observe. Obi has never talked about any candidate. Why everyone is calling Obi? And that is the truth. Atuku may not look for anything at 75, but the huge problem facing him is people as you are with you, Dino Milaye, in his camp has already failed him because you are not a good market. A good marketer. Obi will surely surprise you. Watch at come 2023. Exactly. This man is irrelevant politically. And is still suffering from the trauma he experienced in the hands of DSS after jumping out of a movie police van, a moving police van, he has never remained the same. He lost his Kogi woefully and double speaking things then. You can imagine. So these are the people. Hmm? People when they jump out from police van. These are the people who want to make good government. Abi, do you know Milai is just making a fool of himself? Someone that is local government people voted out from elect, elected political public office, reducing to ordinary toilet tissue, is posting rubbish on social media. What has it done for his people since ever he was in government? <laughs> do you know I am asking you again? Can you employ a 75 or 80 years old man to manage your company? God will shame you people and deliver innocent citizens. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take concerning this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.